welcome to your Friday morning class. To do it, it is a wee medley, um, a bit of warming up of the core and the shoulders, and then working into the flexibility with our hamstrings and binds, and then a little bit of standing work, and then just finishing with a few gentle kind of back bends. All right, so we're going to start on our wide knee here. So bring the knee to the mat and bring big toes to touch. Gently sitting back onto the heels, we'll just let one forearm rest on the other and send the forearms far enough forward so that you can gently rest the forehead onto the forearms without extending or bending the neck in the way. So we're going to have a nice tall, long neck, foreheads gently resting. And then our wide knee hair resting on our forearms, we'll just center ourselves and bring ourselves into our space, onto our mats. Okay, but just simply letting go. And the old thoughts just are swirling around the head, just let them roll on, just bring yourself directly here and connecting with the breath and as you inhale feeling the abdomen sort of stretch outwards and downwards towards the mat, towards the inner thighs and the ribcage expanding front sides and back and on the exhale really softening the forehead down relaxing into the back and neck shoulders elbows hips knees ankles and toes so you almost feel yourself sinking down and when you find that soft relaxed point on your exhale when you inhale try not to lift and tense everything up again so let the inhale flow from that relaxed point And just setting your intention for your practice today, just to have fun. You know, enjoy your time on your mat. Lovely. And then we'll extend the arms out in front of us. Now we're told that we fib, we probably do need our blocks as well, I completely forgot. <laughs> but from this point, just extending and lengthening the arms away. So if your block's available, because time to just bring it to one side. Okay. And in your hair pose with your wide knees and stretching the arms out, just really soften into the chest wall and into the shoulders here. And give the head a little lift back, tilt the chin towards the front of the mat. Well, I'm going to slide the hands back in a little bit and just press the elbows onto the mat. And then bring the fingertips to rest on top of the shoulders. Okay. And from here, just draw the chin firmly into the chest wall. Lovely, and then relax the head forward and then just start walking the elbows forward with the fingertips still resting onto the shoulders and then press the armpits down to the mat. So you'll find that we're going to be working into the wrists here a little bit, into the base of the thumbs, the way the hands rotated around to rest onto your shoulders. And then keep creeping the elbows away, but keep drawing back into your sit bones. So you'll lengthen the spine, you'll feel that in your thoracic spine, hopefully. Lovely. And then extend the arms out in front of you. So from here, we're going to interlace the fingers. This is the only part where we will ease our block. Interlace the fingers and extend the arms forward. And then from here, just press the forehead down into the mat. And draw back into the sit bones. So with the fingers interlace, <clears throat> and feel a little bit more work going into the shoulders and into the lats. And just breathe in underneath the shoulder blades and into the side ribs up into those armpits and shoulders. Lovely. And then we're just going to take the block on its flat side and place the hands exactly the same way onto the block. Remember, slide the block away to find the distance that best suits you, okay? And then pressing the side edges of the hands onto the block, drop the head down to the floor. So forehead's resting on the floor. Draw back and soften into your spine. Lovely. 
both ways. And then we're going to flip it on its taller side. Same thing. Let the head slide in between the arms and drop down towards the mat. Just find the breath moving into the upper thigh. And if the head doesn't want to rest on the floor, it's okay for it to be sitting, but we want to let the head rest there and the chest will rest in. And again, if it's too much to turn it on to its topmost side, just leave it where it is. Placing the hands, interlacing the fingers and really bring the forehead down to the mat. And softening into the spine and into the shoulders. Just let the breath smooth through the sense, extend and lengthen the out. Lovely, and then we'll just lift up the head to take the block out to the one side. Okay, from here, from our extended head with our wide knees, just press forward and just lift the feet, bring the toes towards the back of the head, the head towards the toes. Good, and then as we circle it back, we're going to come just into our classic cat-cow pose. So, tabletop, and working through the remit of the spine. So just bring your awareness fully into your spinal column as you dip. The movement that traces right up to the tailbone, right up to the crown of the head. You get a lot of spinal mobility here, exhaling to roll and curl. Inhaling to dip. Lovely. Exhaling to curl. So as much range of movement as you can get. Really drawing the chin into the chest on your exhale. Really lifting the tailbone to the back of the head on your inhale. Really engaging the hands into the mat. Keeping strong, steady arms and thighs. Lovely, and then last time to curl it out. Great. From here, we'll inhale, float our right arm up to the sky. Turn head, neck, chest. Okay. Now try not to push the hips out to the right. So keep the hips really stable over the knees. Lengthen through the left arm and draw the left rib cage through and lift across the abdomen and the chest will into that right side. Good. Try not to push the arm back from its shoulder, okay? Try and work with this like one unit from the waist up. Good. And then with a soft bend to the left elbow, we'll thread the needle, right arm all the way through, pressing the right arm down fully onto the mat, okay? And then just tip the fingers of the left hand onto the floor, lift the left arm and just wrap it around your right side waist and catch hold of your right side. And lift that left side up, left shoulder, left rib cage. Lovely, and then we'll press it back into our centre point. Hands on the mat. Good. Inhaling our left arm this time to draw in the left rib cage through, left up to the sky. Reach it up. We're going to make sure you're not pushing your hips out to the left. Lengthen from your right hand up into the shoulder. more turn as you can get and then as we exhale we'll throw thread that needle all the way through behind our right arm circling the back of the arm against the mat inhaling reaching our right arm up and just snaking it behind our back and maybe catching hold of our left thigh keep the feet hip width as best you can lift up into that right side as you press down into your left shoulder Lovely, and then we'll release that out. Bring yourselves to centre, okay? Check that your knees are hip width, softening onto the tops of the feet, bring the heels, butt cheeks back to the heels, and just lengthen it out, classic head pose. Lovely, so from here we're gonna come into tabletop, okay? From our tabletop here, we're gonna curl the toes under, okay? 
And once we've curled the toes under, we're just gonna lift and float the knees off the mat, drawing belly button to stay. So just observe how your hands are working into the floor to stabilize you, okay? We've got the toes curled under, we've got the thighs working, we've got the heels pressed back. And from here, we're just gonna push back short downward facing dog. And as we inhale, come and hover the knees off the mat. Exhale, back into short downward facing dog. Inhale, so really draw pelvic floor in, belly button to spine, suck everything in. Work the hands strongly into the mat. It's a very simplified movement, but you wanna really engage the core. Don't do the work and expect everything else to fall into place. Draw belly button to spine, lift that pelvic floor, keep everything nice and tight. Lovely. One more time. Mobilizing those shoulders as you press back. Lovely. Once we come down, we're going to pop the knees onto the mat. We're going to keep the toes held under. Lift up high onto the knees and just stretch the arms back. Much as you can. Good. Little back bend. And then we'll come back into that tabletop. Lovely. So from our tabletop again, we're going to keep those toes curled under. We're going to lift the knees off the mat. Okay. We're going to keep our left thigh really steady. We're going to extend our right leg back. And then draw the right knee to the forearm. And then back. Right knee to forearm. And then back. Right knee to forearm. And then back. Two more. Keep that back foot flexed. Last one, brilliant. Once it comes in, pop the two knees down, keep the toes curled under, okay? And then just a bit of shoulder protraction. So drop the chest wall and sink, and then lift up into the shoulders. And then drop, and then lift. And drop, and lift, and drop, and lift. Last time, drop, and lift. And then settle back into your classic tabletop here, okay, keeping those toes curled under. We're going to float the knees off the mat again, okay. Right thigh nice and steady, extending left leg back. And then knee to forearm. And then back. And then knee to forearm. Just be mindful that we're not starting to try and straighten into that left leg. Three more. Two. And last one. Brilliant, and then we'll pop the two knees down on the mat. Okay, we'll keep the toes curled under. We'll bring our butt cheeks to rest onto our heels. We'll come into eagle arms, right arm over left, lift those elbows up, extend fully to the forearm. So it shall release the shoulders. Breathe in between the shoulder blades. Okay, and then just from here, just turn the head from left to right. Good. And then we're going to swap it out, left over right, elbows up, forearms extended, and then it's just chin to chest, lift and extend it back, chin to chest, lift and extend it back, chin to chest, lift and extend it back, last time. Lovely, then we'll unravel those arms. Inhale, float the arms up, press them back. And then we'll exhale, coming down. Keep the toes curled under, slide the arms away as if we're coming into our head pose, but with the toes curled under. Lovely, lift the eyes, the thigh goes forward, slide the hands back just a little bit so you can really grip and engage with the two hands. Draw belly button to the spine, lift that pelvic floor. We're going to float the knees off the mat, press them back to the heels. And then we're going to extend into down the facing dog, ripple forward into our modified upward facing dog, press it all the way back, down the facing dog, bend the knees, eye gaze forward, bombs to heels. Press it back, ripple it forward, dip the hips, lift the chest, walk. Exhaling back down, facing dog. Inhale, really nice deep bend to the knees. 
exhale, press it back, ripple it forward through the spine, dip hips, lift chest, walk. Exhale, suck belly back into downward facing dog. Inhale, really bend, let's tilt those sit bones up to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog, ripple and roll high through shoulders, dip hips, lift chest, wall. Exhale, all the way back. This is the last one, bend those knees. Exhale, dog. This time as we ripple it forward and our modified upward facing dog. Now you can pop the knees on the mat if you want here. But as we exhale, okay, we're going to bend the, from the elbows, bring the nose almost to the floor. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, almost to the floor. So put your knees on the mat if you need to. Exhale, suck those triceps into your ribcage. Two more. Good. Last one. Up we go. Push it back down with facing dog. Exhaling onto your knees, soften out your toes, hair pose. Breathe steadily and evenly. Lovely. So from here, from our hair pose, we shall extend into our downward facing dog. So lift the hips up, take the shoulders forward first, stack them over the heels of the hands. Curl those toes under. Okay. And as you draw your sit bones back to your heels, start peeling the knees off the mat, keeping the really thighs nicely tucked into the tummy, and then extend back into your downward facing dog. Breathe steadily and evenly as we inhale, we'll ripple forward into our plank pose. Okay. From our plank pose, we will drop our knees. Okay. Exhaling, we're going to bend the elbows, take the shoulders forward and really dip out that spine and lift the chin and look at the front of the mat. So we come into a little back bend here. And I want you to stay here for a wee minute, really tilting the tailbone to the back of the head. Pressing that chest, we're lifting the chin so you feel the extension in the front of the neck and a real turn, lift back of the head. Lovely. And then from here, we'll just simply slide those legs and feet away. Lift and lengthen each leg behind us. And gently inhale into our cobra pose. Good. So really tucking those elbows then drawing the shoulders back. Lengthening through the spine. Really widen that rib cage. Lovely. Exhaling to come down. From here, we'll press up through our tabletop. Curl out our toes, press it back down, we're facing dog. And just settle here for three full complete breaths with the eyes closed. With each inhale, the lift lengthen through the legs, the lift lengthen through the spine. Okay, exhale, lengthening the spine, but then maybe neutralizing that tailbone a little bit. Relaxing into the heels. Lovely, and then we'll come into tabletop again. We'll have a little stretch out into our hair pose from here. Just turn the palms of the hands to the ceiling. And just relax the head down, so let the forearms rest on the floor. Lovely, so from here, back into our downward facing dog. Okay, so extending the arms forward. Lifting the bottoms from the shoulders forward, curling toes out, drawing the bottoms right back to the heels, really engaging with those hands, floating the knees off the mat so they hock into the tummy. We lift and tilt the sit bones up to the sky and we reach back to the heels. Now I want you to take your eye gaze forward and if you look at your elbow joints, okay, the soft part of the elbow is facing, okay? So what we want to do is try and think about rotating the elbow so that the soft bits kind of point up to the ceiling, okay? Whilst pressing back, we want to rest the forearms almost down to the mat and then lift and press it back. Try not to bring the shoulders forward, they will come forward a little bit and then back. And then really press and keep pushing back. You'll work those legs strongly, work those elbows strongly. And back, last time. Bend and back. Rock it forward into a plank pose, exhaling almost to the floor if you want, or fully to the floor for your upward facing dog. Good. And 
legs hanging down, we're facing dog. From here, we're just going to bring the legs through, either by jumping through or just coming into easy cross legs. If you're jumping through, really tuck the knee in, sweep them through, throw the legs out, and come into your seated position. Okay? So from here, okay, draw the sit bones back. This is maybe where you will need your belt, okay? The way you may not. So we're going to sit down for a wee while here, which I'm sure you're all delighted with. Bending our right knee, bring the sole of our right foot to the inside of our left thigh, press the heel and draw the sit bone back, okay? So from here, as we inhale to lift and lengthen, get that lovely spaciousness into your hip flexor. Keep the leg and foot nicely in line, whether it's a belt around our foot or whether we're extending forward with our arms, nice little peel down. Okay, drawing the sit bone back, keeping that foot really level as if it's standing on a solid surface. Those that are good in their forward folding, they have a blocked hand, can place a block around their foot, okay? So finding something that works for you that's going to really allow you to fully extend here, okay? So as you press the heel and draw the sit bone back, okay? And we don't want to turn the torso over that leg. We want that left side to gently let down that left leg. Okay, from the nose of the sore sits to the inside of that knee joint or shin or wherever you're at. And keep actively drawing the sit bone back, softening into the sacrum, into the lower back. Releasing and relaxing the right leg as much as you can. And this is a forward fold, it's a fold that should feel nice and calming and soothing. And the way you make it more soothing is to breathe out fully. Just really let it go. Lovely. And then from here, we're just going to walk it back in. Okay, we're going to keep the right leg where it is. Lift the left knee, catch hold of the center, and just give your left leg a little swing around. Okay, so we're just kind of gently teasing out that hip. Great. And then we're either going to find the crook of our right elbow to place little toe side in, lift the foot up, press the knee forward and draw the instep in towards your chest wall. Now lift that left butt cheek and kind of draw it back a little bit so you're sitting onto your sit bone. So you can hold this leg in whatever way you want to, but the intention is to keep the foot up, the shin coming inside alongside the chest wall, and we can push the foot into the center of the chest wall as much as we can. So just opening the hip, okay? So draw the instep in, and we're maintaining the tallness to our spine. Okay, so whatever way is working for you, it's working for you. Just keep stretching it out. Lovely. So from here, when we release the left foot, we're going to draw the right foot in closer so that we can sit onto our instep, onto our left gluteal crease. So same thing, another little forward fold over that left leg. So snuggle that in step nicely across that gluteal crease. Again, belt block, whatever you want to use here, lifting on up and out of the waist. And as you exhale, peeling it down again. So keeping the eye gaze forward, keeping this lovely foot nice and active. Okay. So gently peeling it down. Now let the body weight sit nicely onto that gluteal crease. So now your left butt cheek and right butt cheek will be off the mat. Just extending it forward. One more breath. This is where I'm saying, be happy in your space. Be content to stay exactly where you are. No rush. Nothing to do but just simply be here. Lovely. As we release that out, okay, we're going to just sit our bum back down on that slide, that left foot back. So now our foot sitting in front of our gluteal crease, our left heel sitting in front of our sit bone, find the seat. So then again, this is maybe where you might need your belt. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Little rotation of the spine to the right. Take your right hand back to give you a little balance space. 
and then if we need to lift the bum off the floor to reach that left arm as far forward as we can, snuggle the shin into the shoulder, then turning as the thumb turns down, you sweep the arm around, maybe catching hold of your belt, sit the bum back down, lift and lengthen into your right side first, draw all the way back and then sweep it round. Interlacing fingers, you might have got hold of your wrists. Okay, now lift up out the waist, turn torso forwards and gently fold. So just be aware with your left leg that you're not letting it hang out to the side, okay? That's just going to put a lot more load on your shoulder and your bind. So keep the thigh tucked in, press into your left big toe. Lovely. And then from here, maybe we'll hold on to that one of your holding hands. We'll come all the way up. We'll lift that left foot off the mat, okay? Extend the right leg out, okay? Come into a half boat position. Okay, if you want to do full boat position, you can do full boat position. Okay, taking that eye gaze forward, and then we're going to rest our right foot down, left foot down, and then fold down that right leg. Lovely, so keep really centering that left foot onto the floor. Lovely. Inhaling to come up. Okay. So we're going to keep our right leg exactly where it is. We're going to lift that left foot up again. Give it another little swing around. Good. Turn the sole of the foot and have a wee look at it. Okay. Finding the lovely knife edge of the foot. Try and draw it into your hip crease. Okay. Once you've got it into your hip crease, or maybe it's just come into like a half seated safe, so let that knee just drop out. Okay. Again, if you need to, you can just rest the knee onto a block. We've got a lovely straight foot. And then we exhale. We're going to fold down that right leg. So half lotus. Okay. Whether you're in your half seated sage or maybe you end up having to put the foot back onto the inside of the thigh, that is fine. Lovely. Really draw that right butt cheek back. Lovely. So from here, we're going to come all the way up. We're going to bend our right knee. Okay. So we've got our left foot tucked into our half lotus position. Lift the bum, smooth it out. Now, again, if it's too much on your knee joint, just put the foot back in underneath you here. Okay. You want to lift up out the waist, place the right arm to the inside of that right leg, left arm behind. And just do a little spinal twist to the left. Great. Now, if that's enough for you, stay there. If you want to take it on, you're going to lift up again. You're going to sweep your right arm now behind your back and catch hold with your left hand and do a little forward fold. So you're using your belts again if you need to. We're still in half lotus or if it's too much on the knee or the hip joint, we've got the foot just tucked in behind that right butt cheek. Okay. So now this is a bit brutal on your ankles. Nice, nice mobility for your ankle here. Lovely, and then we'll release it out, stretch out that left leg. Your leg's a little shake, lovely. And then from here, we're going to bend our left knee, placing the sole of the left foot to the inside of our right thigh. Again, using the block or belt as desired, pressing the drawing and lengthening back into that butt cheek. Nice big inhale, space into our hip crease and exhaling, just gently folding down. Okay, so we, again, we want to not push over that leg, we want to go straight down the middle of the mat. So if you divided yourself in half, that halfway point is going right down that middle of the leg. Sorry, middle of the mat. So inhaling, lifting and lengthening, drawing back into that sit bone, lengthening the spine and exhaling, just finding the forward and then the fold. And complete inhale. Every time you feel that little nuance of relief, I also say release, 
breathe into it. Let it go another little bit. Lovely, and then we'll release that out. We'll go all the way up. We'll catch hold of our right foot and give our right hip a little swing around. Good. And then we're going to place the left elbow crease around the right little toe side. Again, lifting the foot up, flexing the foot, pressing the knee forward, drawing the shin bone into your chest wall. So whether you're just hugging that foot, or whether you've got your arm around your leg, whatever way helps you, maybe you're drawing it in and gently pressing that knee forward. Again, we want to sit up tall, so draw that right butt cheek back. Maybe press the knee out wider so we can make the foot more central into the sternum. Brilliant. And then as we release that leg, it's extending forward. We're going to lift the bums up, stitch forward, sit onto our right gluteal crease. Same thing here again. Heel of bone sits into the pelvis, right into the middle. We'll lift up out of the waist and we'll exhale. Fall down. So where the foot's placed should actually feel quite sort of soothing and therapeutic. It shouldn't feel uncomfortable. So if it feels slightly uncomfortable, change the positioning a wee bit, but still sit it into that attachment. Okay. And just think of the in-breath as a kind of a broadening and a widening. You know, almost like you're breathing air into your butt cheeks. And exhaling, keeping that air there, but softening, releasing. It's almost like whenever you're blowing off a balloon. Every time you breathe in, it makes it sort of stretches it a little bit more. Okay. But if you release it, it starts deflating again. So there has to be that whole point where you increase the stretch, hold it. But as you exhale to release, you'll keep it there. Lovely, and then we'll bring ourselves all the way up. We'll slide that right foot back so it sits in front of our right butt cheek. Okay, we'll inhale, reach our right arm up to the sky. Using the left arm behind us, we're going to extend forward to the left corner edge of the mat. Again, it's okay to roll up onto the ball of your right foot. Press the shoulder against the inside leg and sweep, sweep, sweep it all the way around, maybe using your belt. Once you're back down, lift and lengthen into the left side, extend back and then sweep it round. And we're tall through the spine first, and then we're folding down. Okay. And remember, if you're letting that right leg hang out, press into your right big toe, draw the thigh in. And don't forget to breathe. Good. Brilliant. So as we bring ourselves back, we're either holding onto the belt or holding our hands. We're going to lift our right foot, okay, so that we can free up our left leg, either half boat or full boat. Point your toes. Good. And then we just flex the feet, reach that left foot down, right foot down, pop the right foot, make sure it's in front of your right sit bone, and then fold down that leg again. So when we slow everything down, it's all about being really present because our mind often races away okay, and start thinking of other things. Okay. So do you really want to stay in your space and your practice? In every millisecond of time, fully involved is so beneficial. And then we'll release it to come up. We're going to lift that right foot again, give it a little swing around. Okay, and then we're going to turn the sole of the right foot. How do we look at it so we can get that side edge of the foot, place it onto our left hip crease. 
let the bomb door sit bones back and again if it won't sit up into the hip crease and it doesn't want to sit even onto the thigh it can be quite painful sitting onto the thigh okay just place it back against your inside thigh you can always rest your thigh in a block lift and draw the sit bones back lovely and then we'll have a little forward fold down that left leg okay so just watch the leg will want to sort of roll out Okay, because you've got the foot pressing against the inside of the leg, so keep it nice and active. And every time you think of inhaling, it's a lengthening the drill and sit bone back. And it's just pushing past that sort of flight mechanism that we naturally have you know when something just gets a little bit difficult we just want to run away from it so it's just gently pushing through with your breath lovely so when we come up we're going to try and keep that half lotus bend that left knee okay lovely so we're sitting up we're going to place our left elbow to the inside of our left thigh, scoop our right arm around, just give ourselves a little twist around to the right. And again, always just placing your foot on the floor if you need to. Lovely. And then if we're coming into the bind again, you can lift up, shove that shoulder as far forward. Round we go. Reaching back with our left hand. Good. It's a bit of a struggle for me. And then we're folding forward. Do use your belt. If you've managed to in your half lotus, do use your belt. If you're not, then we really try and get into the bind position again. Lovely, and then we'll release that out. Lovely, just bring the soles of the feet together, take the knees out wide, coming into our cobbler's pose. Wrapping the hands around those toes and taking the gentle fold forwards. She so might find this easier now after everything that you've done to get that length through the spine, keep the sit bones grounded and just melt and fold in. Lovely, and then we'll bring ourselves up, cross the legs over, roll over those lovely feet, plant the hands, stepping back into our downward facing dog. A few breaths here, just getting nicely spaced out onto your mat. Lovely. So from here, we're going to ground the left foot into the mat. I want to make sure we don't hit the piano. <laughs> Good. And we're going to do some nice wee leg swings. So what I want you to do is take the right leg back, okay? Already turn the foot leg out and point the big toe down into the floor, okay? Press that with the shoulders, keep the arms nice and steady and stable. And from here, we're just going to swing the leg up and down. Good. Now, if you want to, in your practice here today, want to start doing a little few leg kicks, you're more than welcome so that it's a little bit bend of the knee and just kicking the leg off the floor, okay? So you can add that into there, or else you can just stay with your leg swinging. So you're either coming into kick or just keeping the leg going. Lovely. And then from here, when we've got the leg raised up high and tuck the knee into the chest, we'll step that left foot in between the hands, swivel that right heel down. Coming into our pyramid pose here, so top of the fingertips inside that front heel. Inhale, lift and lengthen and extend fully into that right leg. Lifting up into the sit bone, squaring off the pelvis and then finding your fold. Extending the arms forwards if that's good for you or taking them back. Okay, so finding something that's going to extend and lengthen that right leg just a little bit more. Lovely, so from here as we bend our right knee, we're going to come up into our warrior one. For our warrior one, we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back of the head, okay. Press the elbows back nice and wide, okay. Set yourself with your warrior one legs, whatever way feels good for you, because you want to stabilize, okay? And then we're just going to do little side stretches, so as if you're bringing your right elbow down towards your right hip, and then to center left elbow to left hip. 
right elbow to right hip. Okay, just notice the way it might that knocking start knocking you off balance. So keep that pelvic floor lifted, keep belly button to spine, and get as much side bend as you can. Lovely. Last time. Extending the arms up. Exhale and float the arms down either side of that foot. So from here, square it off, okay? You're gonna come onto the ball of your left foot. You're gonna sweep our right leg all the way back into our three-legged dog. Good, and from here, we're gonna really open that lovely right hip to the ceiling, okay? Bend the right knee, okay? Walk the right fingers forward a little bit. Come onto your fingertips and press up and back with that knee. And twist the torso in and looking underneath your right arm. Good, a little bit more press up, grounding into that left heel. Good, a bit more press back with the left arm. Good, so from here we're going to place our right arm back where it was, tuck our right knee into chest for coming into pigeon pose, right knee behind right hand, slightly scooped out the side, and just lengthen and elongate that left leg back. So once we're back here, send that right foot forward another little bit. Re-square off the pelvis, settle onto the top of your left leg. Good. Just give yourself a wee moment upright. And then when we come down, we're going to place the elbows on the mat, fingertips back onto our shoulders, and just start walking the elbows away. So we're getting that wrist rotation. Keep walking the elbows away. Breathe into it. Occasionally curling toe under back foot, lifting and sending that back leg back. One more breath here, settling into that right hip bone. Lovely, and then as we press the hands onto the mat, we're going to bring ourselves up. We're going to bring left leg all the way over our right leg, okay? Square off that pelvis, okay? Again, if you can't sit evenly on the two butt cheeks with the leg extended over, okay, then just simply straighten out your right leg. Now you may need your belt here as well, okay? So we're going to inhale. Lift our right arm up to the sky, okay? Press the left over towards the right side of the mat as you rotate across to that left side and come into your sailboat arm okay so once you come into your sailboat arm okay you're pushing that leg away okay now you're trying to get as much of the arm up and over that leg as you can okay and then you're posting the arm through to your right hip okay once you found your right hip you're going to lift off out of the way stretch that left arm back and there's your lovely little fingers, okay? So maybe your belt's just sitting on your right thigh, coming around, and then try it from there. So try it again. If that wasn't something that worked for you, then use your belt. So pressing it over, extending, lengthening, bringing as much of the arm through, and reaching back. And then we're turning to the left. Pressing the shoulders back. Remember, this really constricts the breathing. So use those lovely lungs. They're good, strong muscles. Lovely. And then we're coming all the way out of it here. So from here, you're going to rock forward. Place the two hands on the mat. Just lift them up. And now you've got your left foot in front. You've got your right foot behind. Okay. You're in your wide leg but crossed over legs. And then bring your right arm in front of your left foot. And then inhale, twist and turn. Good. And then as we plant the hands, okay, so you can get a little spring into those knees. Back we go, plank pose. Exhaling, upward facing dog as we inhale. Exhaling downward facing dog. Lovely. So working now onto our left side. We want to ground into our downward facing dog. Stabilize with our right foot. Point the toe of the left leg behind you. Openly rotating that hip. And then from here coming into the leg swings. Okay. 
And again, if you want to do the kicking legs, you're going to soften the bend into your right knee and kick. Okay, so just pick something that you feel comfortable with, whether it's the kicking, whether it's the swinging. Lovely. And then we'll lift that leg high, tuck that knee into the chest, we'll step that left foot in, right heel swivels down, squaring off pelvis, pyramid pose. Inhaling to lift and lengthen, exhaling to gently fold. Again, taking the arms wherever suits you, okay? You might be on chippy fingers, okay? But lift the chest wall and smooth it down, okay? So whatever works for you so that you've got the long spine here, not the roundy curly shoulders. Good, square off the pelvis, draw that back thigh in. Lovely, and then we'll bend that left knee, inhaling up, warrior one, hands behind our back, into left fingers, okay. So pressing the elbows back and the thumbs just encircling the base of the head, just a side bend. Right elbow to right thigh, centre as you inhale, left elbow to left thigh, inhale, should I say hip. And it's interesting to note, you know, there's maybe one side that you feel more stable in than the other. Yeah, getting as much side bend as you can. Brilliant. And then we'll extend the arms up to the sky, exhaling, floating it down. Ball of our right foot, stabilize yourself as you press back. Three-legged dog. Much open hip as we can in that left leg, bend the knee. Push the knee up to the sky, reach back into your right heel, send your left fingertips forward, tippy fingers and have a little twist and turn. Whilst you're doing that, as you've taken your left hand forward and your tippy fingers, gently draw back with your right arm. Breathe. Good. Really push and point and lift into that left knee and thigh. And then we'll plant our left hand, we'll come into pigeon, left knee behind left hand, slightly out to the side of the mat, gently scooping away that right leg. Okay, opening that left hip as desired. And a little bit more, as per Sophie says. Squaring off our pelvis. Give yourself a little upright position first. Remember, we don't want to soften down into our left hip here. We want to keep nice and even. And then we'll come down, we'll rest the elbows again onto the mat, place the fingertips onto the shoulders and gently walk the arms away and just rest the head here. So just relax fully here, just let the steps evolve in that left hip. And then we'll walk the hands in. We'll swing that right leg all the way over the top of the left leg. Remember again, the two butt cheeks don't want to settle down onto the mat. Just send your right leg out and left leg out in front of you. You can still do the bind with us here. Okay. So inhaling nice and tall again. If you need your belt, you're just going to place it sort of in and around you so that you have something to catch hold on. So as you inhale, lift and lengthen into that left arm. Okay. Push the right thigh over a little bit towards the left side, turn into that rotation and snuggle it over as much as you can, okay? And then we're going to post the arm through, good. Maybe you'll find your belt there sitting on your thigh. Inhale, reach off into the right side, draw it back, and there we find our fingers. And we lift up out of the waist, and we exhale, rotate round to the right. Brilliant, well done everybody, just breathe. It's a really nice stretch in your shoulders and into your hips. Brilliant, so as we release it out, okay, we're trying to scoop forward, so keep those feet tucked in, placing the hands on the mat. Okay, once we're here, we've got left foot behind, right foot in front, right foot's on the left side of the mat, left foot's on the right side of the mat, and then we'll take our left hand in front of our right leg, 
And then inhale, little twist and turn. Brilliant, well done. And as we plant the hands again, get a little bit of spring into those knees. As we go in our plank pose, exhaling, inhaling, upward facing dog. Lovely, exhaling, downward facing dog. So just settle again here. Brilliant. So from here, inhale, we'll float left leg up to the sky. We'll step left foot in between the hands. Okay, we'll swivel that right heel down. So now working with a lot of balance through our transition here. So remember, sucking in the core. Inhale, bring yourself up. Okay, take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Okay. So we're going to show that wrong back, extend and lengthen into that left leg. Brilliant. And then as we exhale, have a little fold. So from here, working through the shoulder remit here, swing the arms overhead. Lovely. And then inhale, press ourselves all the way back up. We're going to bend that left knee out. So when we fall down this time, we will let our left chest will really snuggle and sit onto our left thigh. So we're branding here. I gaze this forward. Really smooth out that left foot onto the mat. Push up onto the toe of your right leg. Now, tease and temper it, okay? You want to kindly, very gently start lifting that right leg up to the sky. Keep your eye gaze steady. At the same time, bringing the arms up and over. Breathe into it. Keep that eye gaze steady. Lovely. And then from here, we're going to bring that left leg, right leg through, sorry. We still got to hold on those arms. Okay, just stay here a minute. Find your balance. Breathe into your space, crossing right ankle bone over left thigh, feeding into your half seated sage. Gently folding down that leg again. Bringing the arms up and over. Nearly done, keep your balance. Lovely. And then from here, we're going to press it up as we release the arms, step that right leg back, sweep the arms, they're going to nice wee release here, reverse that. Brilliant. And then from here, coming into classic triangle pose. So lengthen out the legs if you need to a little bit more, press and extend over that left leg. Down we go. Lovely, so relaxing into the shoulder. Just rest your left, left hand onto your, right, onto your left shin here for the moment. Brilliant. Now we're going to bend that right knee. I'm going to bring our right, sorry, left knee, bring our hand. Now we're going to hold onto our ankle here. Okay, now just in case you might think you think you need something to help balance your out, place a block there. Okay, so we're going to hold onto our left ankle. Okay. Take the eye gaze sort of across and in front of your left big toe. Press the body weight forward. Now, flexion, open the hip, Ardha Chandrasana, right leg. Inhale, up we come. Good. So there's a lot of wobble going on here, but stay with it. Good. Now, your little challenge here, okay? Keep that left chest will press onto that left thigh. Just float the arms out wide. Stay with it. Keep that full open hip in your right leg. Lovely. Pop the hands to the floor. Step that right leg back. Parallel it off. Well done. So from here, we're just two and a half to three. Fixing myself. Exhale, fold it. Good. So from here, two and a half to three, maybe a little bit wider, just extend and reach forward here. And then extend the arms forward as if you're coming into a downward facing dog, okay? So if you need to go a little bit wider, go a little bit wider, but don't go to the point where you're putting too much tension on the inside leg. Keep walking the arms away, okay? And then just bend the knees deeply, okay? Creep the arms away another little bit. Grip firmly onto the floor. Inhale, straighten those legs again. 
Good. And then again, another deep bend to the knees. Creep the hands forward another little bit. Claw. Think four corners of the hands. Finger pads. Knuckle joints. Extend and straighten. Now we're going to keep our right arm where it is. Take our left hand back to the calf muscle of our left leg. And then from here, forward fold. So you're getting this into your right shoulder. Now use that left arm strongly to draw yourself in. Try not to let your right arm slide back. Lovely, and then release it out. Left arm, find that downward facing dog space. Right arm's coming back to right calf. Elbow bends out wide. We're pressing and forward folding. Okay, keep really drawing yourselves in there. Lovely, and then we'll bring ourselves back here. Walk the hands back a little bit. Okay, so if you can get the hands either tippy fingers or palms to hands on the floor, probably using a block here is a good idea, but I want you to literally roll onto your heels, roll forward onto the balls of your feet, and then press up onto the tippest of the tippest toe. Good. Now we're gonna ground our left arm and float our right arm up. Really rich. Good. Keep the tippest of the tippest toe working. And then bring it down. You can come back to your heels if you need to, to do the other side. Lift and reach it up. And then down we go. Walking it around to our right foot. We'll step back, plank pose. Exhaling, cobra or upward facing dog. To inhale, exhaling down the facing dog. Breathe. So grounding our left foot into mat, we'll float our right leg up nice and high. Tuck that knee and step that foot in. Pyramid pose all the way up to stand. Using taking the hands behind our back. Interlacing the fingers. And then having a forward fold. So we're keeping that right leg straight. So it doesn't matter if we don't melt all the way down that right leg, but we're just working into the fold here and draw the arms overhead. Brilliant, one more breath here, releasing the arms in a little bit. And then we'll take a bend to the knees, we'll gently press up, we're gonna keep the arms exactly how they are, okay? So again, I don't know, maybe some of you will have to use a belt. I'm gonna have to step back a little bit because I can see myself going into that piano. So we're going to fold down that right thigh. So we've got a bent right knee and we're snuggling onto that thigh. Okay? Really smooth out your right foot. Now we're on the point and toe of our left foot here. Okay? And then we're going to start lifting and extending that left leg. Good. This is always my hard side. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. good. And then we'll bring that leg through, I just carry doing on that side, and veggies have all done it. <laughs> and we're up. And we'll come into our half seated sage, so we're crossing that left ankle bone over. We're taking the bend to the knee. And then folding down and lifting the arms up and over. There's a lot of work going into these, isn't there? And then we'll release it back, step that left foot back, finding your triangle legs. Just reverse, release the shoulder. Brilliant. And then we're coming in. A little wider stance if we need to, extending fully into our triangle pose. Rest in the right hand onto that right shin or ankle. Lovely, and then we'll bend that right knee. Okay, bring our left hand down. So we're holding onto our ankle. So maybe you just want to hold your right hand on your ankle and your left hand onto the floor. Okay. 
We're thinking Ardha Chandrasana leg. So as you bend into your left knee, really draw up into your right, sorry, right knee, bend into, draw into your right glute, okay? Find a sort of steady eye gaze, and then just start, ooh, lifting and extending that leg. So today I am not working well on that right side, but it's okay, I'm just gonna use my hand to balance me out. Lovely. And then if you can release the arms, release the arms. Ooh. <laughs> oh, dear me. And then we'll step it back. We'll walk it round. Wide leg forward fold. Brilliant. Just let yourself hang and release into this. And then we'll walk down to our left foot, step back into our plank pose. Exhaling, we're going to come down to the floor. So once we're down to the floor, just soften each leg. Just relax the arms down by your side. Just turn the head in one direction. So from here, just keeping the legs hips width, okay? Bring my hands behind the back again, interlace the fingers, lift the shoulders and roll them back and locate the arms. Now lengthen each leg away, press firmly the tops of the feet, toes, legs into the mat and inhale, float up your head, neck and chest. So press and weigh those arms, lifting up as high as you can. Engaging the core. Lovely. Uh, and release it down. Relax the arms. Turn the head in the opposite direction. Now coming into our sister Shalabhasana. So we'll make those little fists with our hands. We'll press the knees into the mat so we can lift the hips up. Slide the knuckle joints into the hip flexors. Okay. So the back of the hands resting on the mat and the middle knuckles are resting along the line of your hip flexor. Just lift the chin, take it slightly forward. And as you inhale, press the body weight into the fists and just float those lovely legs up. Lovely. Now give them a little extra press and push up as high as you can. Lovely. And then release them down, take the hands out, give the bums a little shake out from side to side. So from here, bend your right knee, okay? Reach back with your right hand and just draw the heel down into the back of the butt cheek. Good. So again, if you need a belt, maybe you might need one to just take it around that foot, okay? So I want you to press the hip of the right thigh into the mat and slide it back, okay? And then we're gonna reach back with our left hand and find our right foot as well, okay? So we've gotta roll those shoulders back and we're holding onto our foot, okay? And then we're gonna put flexion into our right foot, lovely. Then from here, keep the left foot grounded onto the mat. And as we inhale, lift up head, neck, chest, press the thigh back and lift the knee. So we've got both hands on that right foot. Okay, now curl the toe under in the left foot and push that left heel back and draw the shoulders back another little bit. Lift and extend the leg another little bit. Good, and then release. Let go, head to the other side. And then we'll do the same with our left leg. So we square off the hips, bending our left knee. Just draw the left heel into the bug. So just releasing that, okay. Holding around the front of the ankle, try not to hold onto the top of the foot. 
Lift and smooth that thigh away. Right arm comes over. Catches hold of that left foot or maybe your belt. Lift the shoulders up, roll them back. Ground with the right foot onto the mat. And as you inhale, lift up head, neck, chest, push that thigh and float it off the mat. And then curl the toe under right foot, push back to that right heel, lift and extend that leg another little bit. Brilliant. And then release it down. Turn the head on the other side. Hips a little shake. So we're going to come into our little baby dragonfly. Okay. Some of you are going to try and take your arms behind your back. Okay. I might not. Depends on my balance today. <laughs> so from here, work the legs back. Okay. You want to feel that you're long through the torso. So lift the chest and kind of smooth it forward a little bit to get this length here. Okay. Palms of the hands resting onto the mat. Okay. Sweeping the arms away from the body, thumbs turning out the way. Okay. We're going to bend our left knee, flexion in the foot. Right, so when we want to lift the right leg, we have to lift the hips up, float that right leg and squeeze it onto the top of that left thigh, left foot. Now centralize yourself with your chest wall. Float the arms up, maybe try and take them behind the back. And stretch it out. And then lift your chin. Brilliant. So whether it's arms on the floor, arms floated or arms behind the back. And then release it out. Good. And swap it around the other side. So we'll bend our right knee, flexion to the right foot. Float the leg up nice and high, squeeze it on. Good. Take the hands behind the back or float them off the floor. And then lift that chin. Brilliant. One more breath. And then releasing it out. Just turn the head in the opposite direction. From here we'll gently press up through our tabletop. Bring the knees in. Okay, just gently rest them back onto the heels. Set the elbows on the mat. And we'll release the head into the hands. Breathe into our lower back, into our hips. Lovely. And then from here, just come into your classic child's pose, which is just wrapping the arms around the side edges of the legs and letting the head fall down to the floor. So sink down into the mat, soften completely. So we'll slide the hands back up, we'll gently press up, cross the legs out underneath us, and onto our backs. And just gently draw the knees into the chest. And we'll just cross right leg fully over left, let the left foot pop down to the ground, sweep the arms away, just walk the left foot out, and let the knees roll out to your right. Gently turn the head to the left and relax fully into your spine, into your hips. One more 
we'll gently draw ourselves back into that center point. We're at a loft, left over right. Right foot walks out slightly, knees roll out to the left. And then we'll gently lift and turn head to the right. Beautiful. So as we come back to center, we'll just give ourselves one last little tuck of knees in. And then releasing the hands either side of the body, we'll just swirl the knees around the hips. Just kind of molding into our lower backs and sacrum. And the other way. <laughs> Busy floor. And as we pop the feet on the floor, we're going to smooth into the lower back, extending the legs away, let the feet roll out, soften through the spine. Okay, placing the hands either on the tummy or just rest them on either side of the body. Big, 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 big breath in. And as you exhale, just open the mouth. Let it all go. And then bring the awareness just simply to the ebb and the flow of the breath. In and out. The soft rise and fall of the chest on the wall. Bring your awareness to your skeletal form, all the bones of the body. And even if you can't visualize them all, just see them running from the toes through the foot, through the ankles, through the legs, the hips, all the way up through the spine, the rib cage, the shoulders, the arms, the head and the skull. And just send your breath and your awareness into that skeletal system, deep into the very bone marrow within the center of the bone. And just let them all relax fully. Really feeling yourself soften from the inside out. Just notice then how the body just wants to smooth, relax, and spread out into the rest of the world. Breath coming up wide, almost out of sight. And this is just sinking deeper and deeper into the space around you. And just gently bring yourself back into your day. And if a nice quiet feeling, just bring it with you. And if not, just leave it on the mat. 
I'm just remembering that serenity is not freedom from chaos. Just the ability to stay calm and still with all the chaos going around you. So you can just simply turn your awareness inward. And recapture this lovely still quiet feeling. And just let all that chaos fade into the background. So we'll just gently wriggle out the fingers, wiggle out the toes, take a nice big stretch. Lovely. And when you've had that lovely long stretch, tuck the knees in and give yourself a really nice tight squeezy hug here, releasing the back. Maybe that little roll from side to side, that helps too. And then we can roll it up gently into a beauty pocket. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Have an absolutely fabulous weekend.